Hey everybody! So today we're going to take a look at the brand new LEGO Ghostbusters Ecto-1 set. So this set just came out on November 15th and this is the Ecto-1 that is based on the new movie, the uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife movie that was supposed to come out in 2020 but is now going to be delayed until next year because of the whole virus situation. So uh, this is a much bigger version than the last one we had. It's almost, I guess you could almost say it's a UCS version even though it's not technically UCS. But anyway, this set is number 10274, and it has 2,352 pieces, so it's a pretty big set, and it's got all kinds of really cool gadgets on it. Now on the back of the box here, we can see all the really cool gadgets that are on the top here, all those little cool instruments. This thing is called the Sniffer, and I think it moves back and forth, and then uh, there's a radar dish here that also spins around. I like all the light details that they have on there. This is a really cool looking car. I think they did a really good job on capturing the way it looked. And it has a couple of really cool little gimmicks in here where it's got the uh, gunner seat that pulls out and it flips around when it comes out of there, which is really cool. And then it's got this really cool feature where um, I think when you pull on one of the uh, the back, uh, what is this, this little bumper or the little fin, um, it makes the little ghost trap come out of there. There's a little ramp underneath there, so that's really cool. And that's a scene from the movie where you can see the gunner seat. And that's a scene of the car. So one thing I'm not sure I'm going to do when it comes to building this is, um, so since this is based on the Afterlife movie, apparently they find the car uh, and it's all rusted out and stuff. So you can see all these little pieces of rust everywhere. And they got these little stickers you can put all over to make it look rusty. And I'm not really sure uh, I'm going to put those on yet. I've really been struggling as to whether or not I'm going to put those on because I kind of don't want it to look rusty. But then again, if you want it to look accurate to the movie, I suppose you'd put those on. Anyway, I guess I'll uh, figure that out once I get to that point. All right, well, let's look inside the, the uh, box and see how many bags of parts there are. All right, so we have quite a few bags here. They're numbered up to number 12. And there is 24 bags total because there's uh, multiples, of course. And so just about every bag has a multiple except for number 6, I think. And then we also have this bag here, which has the tires and this really cool windshield piece. I don't know if this is a, a new windshield piece or an exclusive. I think I heard somewhere that this windshield is uh, exclusive to this set or it's brand new. And this is also one of those sets that comes with one of these extra white boxes inside. So it's kind of cool. So anyway, yeah, lots of parts and uh, I'm sure this is going to be a lot of fun to build. Okay, now looking at all the stickers, uh, there's quite a few stickers on this set, mainly because of all these rust pieces. There's a lot of rust pieces, so if you do choose to use these, you're going to be putting a lot of stickers on there. I still haven't decided if I'm going to use those or not. I'm kind of siding on maybe not using them. I think I kind of want the car to look a little newer. Uh, there's a really cool Cadillac thing right there, and we also got the speedometer, and that's the uh, Cadillac symbol right there. Down here we have some cool little warning stickers and some danger stickers. And then we also have all these going on. There's the Ecto-1 uh, license plate. And this one here is really cool. So uh, somewhere in this set is a little Easter egg where you have a bag of Stay Puffed Marshmallows, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. I just love when Lego throws those in there. So <laughs> yes, yeah, a little homage to the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. I love it. It's so cool. Here is the instruction book, and I love the way they kind of did the artwork on here. It looks like kind of the old style, classic style, um, kind of like uh, instructions of how something was made back then. And it just, I don't know, just the styling of it and the color. So I think that's really cool how they did that. Inside we have all kinds of really cool little things where they talk about the car. And, and they're more kind of like fun things uh, involving, you know, the Ghostbusters in, in general. Here is the car as we see it in the movie. And then here's some more little things and shows uh, Dan Aykroyd there when he was working on the car. This car apparently, I think, was a, either a hearse or an ambulance or both. It, I think it was maybe a combination of the two. I um, can't remember the this car. Let's see, what is it called? It's got it right here. Uh, yeah, that's right. It's a 1959 Cadillac, Cadillac Miller Meteor. So apparently these cars are, are pretty rare nowadays. So if you want one, it's kind of hard to find. But uh, yeah, they got some cool stuff going on here. That's a scene from the new movie there. Here we got, uh, I think I skipped a page. So here we are with what it looks, I think that was from the original movie there. And this is kind of cool. It's like, it says it's um, 
original sketches. I don't know if it's the original sketches from the movie from back in the day or if they're just making all of this up as part of this set or if it's uh, from this Lego set. I'm not sure. Here you can really see a good view of the car. And yeah, it is pretty rusty out. It, you know, rusted out as far as like, uh, you know, the way it looks in the movie. But I, I'm still not sure I'm going to make it look like that. And then also the ladder. Some people said they got the ladder on the wrong side. Well, in the new movie, they flipped the ladder to the left side of the car because that gunner seat pops out on the right side. So that's that's actually correct. Lego got that correct. And then here we it talks about the designer and all the cool little techniques that he used. There's the designer. His name is Mike. And, uh, yeah, the genius that he is to come up with this set, which I think is really cool. And then a, a scene that uh, kind of harkens back to when Dan Aykroyd was working on the car. So they got quite a cool, uh, quite a few neat little things that are going on in here about the set itself and kind of shows you all the little gadgets that come on there. And then from here is when you start building it and it just kind of shows what each bags will build. So yeah, this is going to be a real fun build. I love Ghostbusters, both the first and second one. I never saw the one from 2018 because I'm kind of a purist. I like the original guys in here, in the original and um, I'm not sure if this new movie is going to even have them in it. I think they're going to be just unfortunately having cameos, but I hope they're in it a lot more. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to get started on this, and, uh, oh, gosh, I can't wait to get started on it. All right, so I just finished uh, the number two bags, and I just wanted to show some of these mechanisms before they get too buried and you can't see them. So uh, this is the steering mechanism. So you have, I can use this little wheel right here, but you can kind of see how the little axles turn like that. So that's really cool, and you got this little thing on the front here that kind of slides back and forth. Yeah, and then this thing... This is the mechanism that makes the uh, the gunner seat pop out. So I've never seen this piece before. It's like a little spring-loaded piston. There's a spring inside there, and it's really cool. And so there's the chair, and I love this proton pack. That looks really cool. And that is a printed piece, which is really nice. It's not a sticker, which I'm always glad about that. So um, when you push in this button right here, you'll kind of see how this whole mechanism works. But it, let's see if I can do this one-handed. So you push this in, and see how it flips that around? So this piece actually flips sides from the stem that's holding it in right there. And then when you push this, um, when it's time to push this back in, they make sure that you uh, do not push it with the chair. Because if you push the chair, it's going to mess it up. The chair's got to turn when you push it back in. So that's why they have this little arrow right here. So when you push this back in, see how that flips right back in there like that? And so this piece goes back to being straight again. And then that's how... That's how it kind of realigns itself. So it's absolute genius. I don't know how they figured that out, but it's really, really cool how that works. So anyway, very, very interesting build with that. All right, well, uh, back to work. Okay, so I just want to show some of the cool details of the uh, dashboard, because I'm not sure how much of this you're going to see uh, once the roof is on. But you can see all the really cool instrumentation that goes on over here, and uh, I'm not sure why LEGO always has you put the tape deck that way. It should be the other way around. It seems like, I mean, I remember tape decks and that, and the tape part of it always went down here on this side because that's where the tape reel was. So that always looks upside down to me, but that's how they always tell you to put it on. So it's kind of weird. Over here, we got the nice dash and you can see the speedometer right there and a couple of little gauges, probably like fuel and all that. And you got the little shifter on the, the fly and you also have the uh, gas pedal there too, which is really cool. And then back here, you also have some really cool details because I'm not sure how much of this you're going to be able to see, but you got some really cool, looks like a little computer bank going on right over there. And then I'll show you what the other side looks like. So on the other side here, you can also see the really cool, uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I think that looks really cool. It's like a whole computer center there. Once again, there's that upside down tape deck. <laughs> and then we also got some kind of a clock thing here. I didn't really realize it was all these cool things inside of the uh, Ecto-1. All right, well, uh, on with bag number, let's see, what am I on? I think I'm getting ready to start number nine here. Okay, so I'm working on bag 11, and this is kind of an interesting part of the build. So um, earlier, much earlier in the build, you put these two yellow pieces on the bottom, and then it's not till you get to bag 11 that you actually remove those two yellow pieces to use to make these tanks that go up on the, the roof. So I just thought it was really... Odd. I couldn't figure out why they did that, but I think the reason for it is to add some stability to the bottom front end of the car like you see here. So that's where those were. It was down here and I just took them off. They're over here now. So that's my guess is to add some stability to the front end while you're building it. But I've just never seen them do that before. I thought that was really interesting. Maybe you guys have seen that before, but that's the first time I've ever seen that little technique used in this. So uh, 
Yeah, that was pretty cool. All right. Well, anyway, I'm almost done. All right, I got this whole thing built now, and oh my gosh, this is another amazing set by Lego. I just cannot believe how amazing this is. So I am telling you, this thing is totally decked out with details. Um, it is so cool looking. I, I think they did a really good job of capture, capturing the, the look of the way this car looks. And it's got just an amazing amount of detail, all the crazy stuff going on on the roof right there. And also, um, you know, it's it's pretty good, big size. It's like 19 inches long, and it's about just under six inches uh, wide. And it's got some heft to it, as many Lego sets do when you're done building it. But oh my gosh, this is so cool and a crazy fun build. There was so many fun things to build on this. There wasn't any part of this build where I found it repetitive or boring. It is just so cool all right so uh, let's take some close-ups on here so you can see the details okay so starting on this side you can see all the uh the lines of the car you got like uh, the mirrors here and the, some lighting you got all the doors going on here's the ladder i love these tubes that looks really cool uh, that goes up to the top and i'll show you all that top detail in just a moment and i love the way they did that curved window in the back that's not an easy thing to pull off but they did Especially, and also like the uh, the fins back here are really cool. This back end is awesome. I just love the uh, the uh, little ghost here. Did you know his name is Moogly? I never knew that. That was a little fact that was in the uh, instruction book. They have neat little uh, facts while you're building this. And it turns out that this guy's name is Moogly. <laughs> I never knew that. So that's pretty cool. Here's the other side. Now these doors do open. Um, the suicide doors. You got this one. That's where the... Uh, the pop-out gunner seat is and then this is the other side here and what's really cool is on the inside here is a little surprise you got a little bag of stay puffed marshmallows <laughs> I thought that was really cool I think that's the very last thing you put together is the stay puffed marshmallow bag so I thought that was a pretty cool little fun thing that they threw in there there is a ton of detail on the interior which I was showing you earlier which I figured I would have a hard time showing you so that's why uh, once it was built I mean so now you know, you can see it. So all the doors open except for um, the one right here. This is just, you know, locked in place. And that's because the ladder is kind of in the way. And then the driver's side door does open as well. And so you can see some more details in there. The steering wheel does work and the steering wheel will turn the wheels. But thankfully, they also give you this little mechanism up here. So you've got what looks like maybe one of the lights up here on the top. So when you turn this, it actually does turn. Let me see if I can get it. It actually does turn the steering wheel, as you can see there, and it also moves the wheels. So it's a cool, easy way to turn the wheels if uh, if you want to drive it around, which I think is really cool. And they're, you know, just a kind of a clever way of figuring out how to do, how to do that. The uh, hinges on here, I don't know if I can get that in there, but it's kind of cool how they figured out how it's almost like a, kind of like a double hinge or something in there for the door. So I thought that was pretty cool. Another thing that's really neat is the back end over here you've got this uh this great door now um i know they were saying something about the, the designers worked really hard to make sure that when you open this it opens at the right angle see how it's actually angled when it opens like that so a lot of times in toys or other uh maybe lego sets or whatever the door isn't at this you know slant like it's supposed to be and they actually managed to pull that off it was really cool how they did it because they use these double ball joints right in here you can kind of see it right there and they're kind of at an angle and that's why you can kind of see it right in those two parts right there and uh it's hard it's hard to focus in on these but um yeah that's how they pulled that off they're kind of like at an angle because they're one is further in than the other also inside here is all those cool little gadgets that we saw earlier and there is a neat little uh mobile ghost trap right there and i'll show you the cool little feature that that they use for that. This has so many cool features in it. That was the main reason that I bought this set. I'm I'm a sucker for all the gimmicks <laughs> when it comes to these sets, when they have moving things and all these cool things. All right, so let me show you uh, this uh, pop-out gunner door, and uh, it's, it's pretty clever how it works. Now, on the uh, driver's side right here is a little secret button, which is this panel right here. You can kind of see it. It's a little loose. You can push it in, and I love that it blends in. You wouldn't even know that that is there, and I think that is super clever. How they how they did that okay so when I push that button in here's the seat and there it is it flips out just like that 
So then you push it in right here, and if you push it in quick enough, it'll flip all the way around, which is what you want. But it works nice and smooth. It's got a really smooth uh, way that that operates, and I thought that was really cool. It's one of the things that you build very early on in the build, and uh, but it works flawlessly. I mean, it, it actually works really good. You would think that this would have issues, but it doesn't. So I absolutely love that feature. One thing I want to mention is this grill on the front. It was really fun to build because it's made up of a whole bunch of these roller skate pieces that are stacked on top of each other. And I thought that was a really clever way to make a grill. I thought that was really cool. So you have to make sure they're all in the same way. So you got the, the side with just that little flat section on there because the inside has the, uh, the rounded part. So here on the inside, you can kind of see how those rounded bits are kind of showing in there, which also looks really cool. They could probably make something else that's uh, pretty clever using that. So I thought that was a really good use of using those uh, roller skate pieces. And then, of course, now we have the, uh, the engine here, and that's really cool. So this hood does open and close, and you got the nice little uh, symbol right here on the front. And I like this detail of these pieces right here, but... This can open up and now you can see all the detail of the engine and it's pretty well detailed too. They got the uh, carburetor right here. There's even a reservoir for the uh, 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 the uh, washer fluid. These uh, belts will actually turn when you turn these wheels. It actually does turn, which I think is really cool. There's two of those rubber bands in there. And they even have a battery here with the positive and negative that's plugged in right over there. So um, yeah, really cool that they actually added engine detail. And these pieces here were a clever use of these where they make kind of the wheel well that's on the inside. So that was just another really clever use of parts. Another interesting part of this build was this back section over here. So you actually don't even finish this out until almost the end. So almost the entire build, this part of the car remains, you know, naked without anything on it. And then at the very end is when you kind of start putting these parts on. But you, you're going to think that it's like one big piece that kind of goes on here, and it's not the way it goes together at all. In fact, it's almost like four separate parts. You you build this little section here that clips in, I think it was, or no, it fits on some ball joints or something like that. Then this little panel here clips in with some clips, and then this piece here, I think it, uh, I can't remember how this, oh, these, I think these just get brick built into there. And so it's really cool. Um, it's just it wasn't what I expected when I was uh, building it. And they still get that nice uh, angle on there that you need to have to make this car have the proper lines on it. So, uh, yeah, that was really clever. That's what I like about this. There was all kinds of neat things that when you're building it, um, it, it wasn't, it didn't go together the way you kind of thought it would. So looking at the roof detail now, you can see there is just a ton of stuff going on up here. And it's filled with all kinds of really fun to build gadgets and gizmos and so uh, when, I, when I was building the roof I was kind of thinking it was kind of weak like the main structure of it or something it just didn't feel like it was going to be as strong as it was but once you get done kind of almost finishing it you realize that it of course is going to work out just fine and then so this white section here is separate from the little black section so that little rack is an, like a separate little build and so then you got all kinds of cool stuff going on here so I love that little thing right there I'm not sure what that thing is or what it's called this is the sniffer, and it's got a little warning sticker on there. That's the little, um, I can't remember, there's names for all of this stuff, and they kind of talk about it in the instruction manual, that thing's supposed to pick up, you know, supernatural something or others. <laughs> and then this piece is really cool, and you got another uh, sticker right there that's kind of got some lines on it. And then I love how they use these foils, the little swords right there for, for detailing on there. I love these cables that keep coming down everywhere. And just everything, and here's those tanks that I was mentioning where you use that middle piece that was used earlier as a support, um, you know, thing for the, the main part of the car for the front. And then you got these little gauges right here, and those are prints. And they give you a couple of extra ones for that too. But these details are, they're really fun to build all these neat little details. <clears throat> you got some uh, nice lights going on here. I think that print there, I think is exclusive to this set. I think that's a brand new print for the uh, siren that goes off, uh, you know, in the movie. And then you've also got these nice blue lights going on here, and there's another one down here. And then there's two more back here, so, um, you know, you have five total. These light bars, these are really fun to build. They're made up of a, a whole bunch of those clear blue uh, one by one cheese wedges and the uh, two by two angled pieces right there. And so, and those uh, speaker grills are on both sides. And so you build two of those. There's one on the front here, and they're both identical. So 
but those were really fun to build as well. So yeah, this whole top section is kind of near the end of the build and it's a lot of fun. Over here, you've got this neat little detail. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's pretty cool. And you got a little danger sticker on there. And same with this cool green, I don't know if it's a tank or what. But uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, this piece moves and this piece moves and I'll roll this around to show you uh, how those work because they're pretty cool. Okay, so hopefully it's bright enough for you to see this, but so when, once you start rolling this, now you can see how those roll back and forth. I love how fast that one turns back in the back and the little sniffer thing goes back and forth. So that's a really cool, I just love that. I think that is so cool how they did that. So yeah, another uh, amazing little detail that they've added in there. I think that looks fantastic. Love it. Okay, so here's another really cool feature, and um, I really love this one. So when you pull on this little section right here, and they got a little stud on here so you can kind of see it, but you pull this out, and out drops this little ghost trap, which I absolutely love this thing. So it, apparently in the new movie, there's probably going to be like a remote-controlled uh, ghost trap I'm guessing and so uh, that's probably and it's probably going to drop down from the back So yeah, this is a really cool. This is actually one of the last things you build as well It's got a little detailing here on the front, but uh, yeah, so these wheels so yeah There's a little ramp uh, on the inside there, and I'll show you what that looks like Okay, so down inside the back here There's a little bit of a floor down there, and it goes pretty deep down there, so that's where this thing fits in So just kind of drop it in there and then here's the little uh, button. So, it, it, you know, you don't see it on this side. It's just, it's more like a, it's just to let you know that that's where the mechanism is. So you pull this out like this. And then when you pull it out quick enough, it just drops that, uh, <laughs> it just drops that uh, little ramp down right there. So you can kind of see it underneath. And I think that is really cool. So, um, yeah, I love that. I think that's really neat. So you just push this back in and it raises that floor back up. You can see it moving in there. And then you just reset this by putting this back in. But yeah, I love that feature. I think it's really cool. <laughs> All right. So that is the brand new Ecto-1 set from LEGO. This set just came out on uh, November 15th of 2020. It's brand new and um, it is an amazing set. I never got the smaller version and I'm kind of glad I didn't now because I think this one's probably way better. I, I'm not really familiar with that set, but this one is, I love the size of it. It's huge. It's got a ton of cool features and gadgets. Um, these guys, by the way, don't come with this set. I just threw them in there, the little <laughs> Slimer dudes. But uh, anyway, so one of the things that people did mention, speaking of those, is that they kind of wish that it came with minifigures, kind of like the Batwing comes with minifigures, even though this is not minifigure scale. And uh, I kind of agree. It would have been kind of cool to have maybe the uh, four original guys from the original movies, uh, you know, just as a, a little thing uh, on the side. But I don't know. I guess I'm neither here nor there. Since this one is based on the new movie, um, the previews don't show the original guys in there. And so uh, hopefully they're in it. Uh, maybe they only have cameos. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. And that might be one of the reasons they didn't include minifigures, because maybe they, uh, Lego, wasn't really informed you know, if the, if the guys are in it or not. They're, they're probably limited on just how much information they get about a movie before they make a set. So that might be one of the reasons. But um, anyway, this set is just amazing. I If you're on the fence about getting it, I would say you really should get it. Um, one thing I also should mention, I did choose not to use these uh, rusty stickers, the rust spots. I just, I just really didn't like these. I mean, it's strictly up to the person uh, if they're going to use these or not, but I kind of think they look cartoony and they kind of make the car look cartoony once they're on there. And so I just decided I really wanted it to look clean and kind of the way I remember it from the original movie. So, um, you know, it's going to strictly be up to the, the, the builder if they decide to use those or not. But I think most people are probably going to skip those just because of the way they look. But, um, God, this is such a great set. So the set goes for $200, um, and, uh, you know, it's expensive, but Lego is not a cheap hobby, as we all know. Um, but, you know, for 200 bucks, I think it actually is worth it. I mean, it comes with a lot of stuff. It's heavy. It's a, it's a great build. It displays really nice, but it also has all kinds of fun little, you know, features on it that you can kind of play around with, which is always a big bonus for me. I like when it has all the gadgets and and, uh, you know, little gimmicks and stuff. I'm a sucker for all of that. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, that is my review of this set. If you want it, go out and get it. Uh, it's a great set, um, and I can't recommend it high enough. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I always appreciate your viewership. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. 
Take it easy.